A few weeks ago, I made a video about how to create a working PayPal account for unsupporting countries and I got very good responses on that video. I'm glad the method is working and a lot of you have successfully created a PayPal account. Also, I made another video on link working bank account with uh, your PayPal account and again a lot of users have registered for an international bank account via WISE that works perfectly for PayPal verification. Now, today in this video, I'll be showing you how to link a working debit card with PayPal. So please, don't skip any part of this video and bear with me till the end of this video. So hey guys, this is Prakash and you are watching Tech Prakash YouTube channel. Here, I'm at my business PayPal account dashboard and as you can see, my payment inside within the last 90 days. Now, let me show you how to add a card. Go to bank and cards. In the previous video, I already showed you about linking a bank account with PayPal. Let's see about cards. Under the card section, you can add a new card. Since I already have one added to my account, and if you want to add a new card, then click on the plus icon just here, then fill the form with card details. Now, whatever cards can be linked here. You can add any virtual or physical cards that are allowed for online purchases. Cards like Visa, Mastercard, Discover and so on can be used. But in this case, you can also check if your card can work with any addresses. Like different addresses. Because some card won't allow you to use with different address. In my case, I'm using Payoneer card, which is great and fully verified. The benefit of this card is, you can use it with any addresses, no matter what country it is. So, this card will work with your business PayPal account, as well as your personal PayPal account. I have mentioned the link in the description below. You can watch the video about creating a PayNeur account for free. Let me tell you something more about adding a card. If you have a Payoneer account, then you can issue a virtual card into your Payoneer account for instant use. Even I have linked my virtual Payoneer card to this PayPal account and I have never faced an issue with it. Okay, now let me show you quickly how to order a virtual card into your Payoneer account. If you don't have a Payoneer account yet, then you can check out our video about it. As you can see, I have to log into my account, then I can create a virtual card. Okay, so here, as you can see, I have different currencies available here at my account. I can order a card with each currency except some of them like Australian dollar and Singaporean dollar. So I can order a card with Canadian dollar. You have to select a card type, card type like virtual card and physical card. Virtual card are great for instant use. But if you want a physical card, then it will take some time to get delivered into your place. After selecting a card type as a virtual card, click on next. Then choose a card currency. Like I can create an Canadian dollar, euro and pound currency. So. For example, if I select Canadian dollar, then I have to just click on order a card. Once you click on order a card, then you will receive an email shortly with card details and then you have to activate the card before using it. This process won't take a long time. Since I already have a card here, active card, I don't want to create another card act. Well, in upcoming videos, I'll show you that also. For now, my purpose was just to show you how to order a virtual card into a PayNeur account. Now, I want to show you how to transfer your PayPal balance to your bank account. The bank accounts that is here linked into your PayPal account. Click on transfer balance, then select a standard method. And then select your preferred bank account. Since I have different bank accounts available here. I'll choose my preferred bank account. 
because I'm using US dollar as a primary currency. So I have to select US bank account. If you choose Singaporean bank account, then might be this will not be possible to transfer your balance to your Singapore account. It depends on your currency. Okay, then you have to click on withdraw and then it will take some time like one to three business day to get your balance into your account. I'm using wise bank account. You can check out the video for that. Okay, so I hope this video will help you and if you have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section or you can directly contact me through instagram so i'll see you in the next video till then take care and keep watching tech Prakash youtube channel